As I travel around this planet and I am in front of thousands and thousands and thousands, between four and five thousand kids this week alone, I do something in middle schools and in high schools. I ask them, how many of you have your very own cell phone connected to the internet that is in your bedroom at night, all night? I took this picture day before yesterday, and this is a high school with just about every single hand up. Therein lies the problem with the demographic 12 to 17 in the bedroom with an internet connected devices. They are looking at pornography, they're playing video games, they're doing social media. Especially the children whose parents say, my child is a good child and would never do anything like that. Especially those. Solutions. No technology in the bedroom. And model that yourself. I want you to look at this. This is a first step that will not cure, but go a long, long way to fixing a very deep problem. Last week a parent said, well, you can tell he doesn't have kids. You can't just take a phone away from a kid. To which I replied, let me stay in your house one week. I'll show you how to do it. Until you stop saying stupid things like that, this problem is going to persist. Whenever there's a suicide because of cyberbullying, whenever there's some big cyber issue taking place throughout high school, such as sexting, I am the only one that will give you the following as an option. No smartphone is an option. It's the head of the snake that continues to bite us. So the solution, of course you want to be able to get in touch with your child. It's a very dangerous world we live in. Here's what I tell parents. They'll come up to me wanting my permission. They'll say, my child has to have one because of school. To which I reply, that child does not belong to that school. That child belongs to you. God gave them to you, not the government. I'm trying not to feel, make them feel bad. Do you hear I'm trying to empower them? I'm trying to, I'm trying to empower them to say, I'm the parent. God has put me in charge of this child and I will do what is best for this child. That's what I'm trying to do, not make them feel condemned. A flip phone is an option and they say, well, my child will be embarrassed. And I'm like, well, good, it's fun to embarrass teenagers. I do it every chance I get. But I love them deeply. That's why I say this. I'm called to that generation as well. No smartphone is an option.